Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Troco B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So what's going on, gang? It's been a couple of days since I dropped the video. Your boy came up home time. I'm back at you. I'm getting back to the money. I'm back out here hustling. I'm back out here dropping a day before, two days early. If you say I can drop 24 hours early, your boy dropping it. What's going on, gang? So, yeah, man, my dispatcher put some numbers out the other day. He sent us a little number, gang, you know. He said solo drivers at Primer averaging roughly 1500 a week. I'm guessing this bringing home out the expenses, 1500 This is before, it's 1500 before taxes and and before whatever else comes out of your check. He said team drivers are uh, averaging 3100 So, he said, he said it's team drivers averaging 3100 so when he said that, like, he dressed it up for us. Like, I don't understand if y'all saw that, if y'all got the same message. But my thing is this. If I'm a team driver and the team drivers are averaging $3,100 bring home, when you split that, that's roughly $1,500 a piece. So he said the lead seat for a solo is $1,500. He said team drivers are averaging 3100 He didn't say the lead seat for the team driver. He said the lead seat is averaging 3100 for a solo driver. But for team driver, he said team drivers are averaging 3100 So he dressed it up well. And if you couldn't read between the line, you would think that one of those team drivers are averaging $3,100. But in actuality, the truck is, they'll bring home $3,100. And it's, it's roughly the same amount of money. So for those that don't get it, that's the same amount of money. And like, I don't understand, like, Prime is in desperation mode right now, man. I'm going to tell y'all, like, they steady losing drivers. Nobody's trying to come to Prime. So now they're in desperation mode. They're calling drivers, asking drivers, would they be interested in joining Prime or whatever? Would they be in? They, they even telling them drivers that they once told would need training. They're telling them they won't even need training. They'll go straight to, you know, their truck or whatever. So, you know, Prime is in desperation mode. Yes, the freight has picked up. Yes, I'm like, I'm being dispatched on a pre plan four, 500 miles from dropping the plan, the, the, from dropping the load that I'm dispatched on. So, yeah, freight has picked up, but I think, I don't think freight has picked up. I just think that they're, they don't have enough drivers to they have no choice but to go ahead and try to get these loads on somebody. Like when I went on home time this past, I went on home time for like three days. He didn't even want me on home time. This is the first time ever. Like I'm on home time and I'm telling him like, well, just dispatch me out money. Like I thought you was coming back this day. I like, well, you know, um, my son game until Friday night and I figured y'all won't be able to dispatch me out on the Saturday. Oh, I can dispatch you out. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you dispatched. I'm like, all right, you can get me dispatched out, cool, I leave. So he got me a load for Sunday morning. So I'm saying, so you know, I draw that load. By the time I dropped the load, I was like 300 some miles. I, I was sitting on a pre plan. By the time I dropped the load, I was pre planned on. I was about 500 some miles. I, I was sitting on another pre plan. So yeah, they planning you days ahead. They trying to keep you busy. They don't even want you thinking about going home time because they don't have nobody. But if they were smart, they would have been had it like this. You're not short on drivers. You had too many. You had too many drivers for the freight you had. So you had the downside. You need to keep it like that. If you keep the drivers happy that you got right now, you can move the freight. Drivers will be willing to, 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 to haul the freight, knowing that they, they drivers' biggest biggest concern right now in this trucking industry is doing all this sitting, and that's my concern. Like. Before I sit out here on the road, I'd rather sit at home. That's just me. That's just me. Oh, yeah, I'm getting ready to go out here and do my workout. But, yeah, before I sit on the road, dispatch me home. Let me go on home time for a couple of days. I come back out. But, yeah, because it's crazy out here. Like, man, it's so it's so, it's so ugly out here in this trucking industry. Like, I don't know if y'all understand. Like, you got stores, like, big, like, clothes. Like, do you know? With stores like that closing, it's gonna hurt the trucking industry even more because there's less freight that's being dispatched out. Like, 
I don't know, man. It's like only people that seeing this and we trying to tell the world that, hey, it getting bad. I getting ugly. like can save your money. It's the truck driver because we dealing with it hand to hand. We the first person to notice it. You got the people, they moving around, spending money, going about their normal day. Nobody's talking about the recession that we had for. So, you know, you got to be mindful of stuff like that. You know what I'm hearing? That people like, hey, if you vote for Trump, it's going to get worse. Well, Camilla already been in office with the vice president, and it, it already getting worse. I'll take a chance. Put Trump back in there, man. Let that money flow, man. Open up these new tunnels, man. Open up these new loopholes, man. Let her get some money out here, man. At the end of the day, man, I joined trucking to make a dollar. I did not join trucking to be sitting. I did not join trucking to be told that the industry is doing good. That we have too many truck drivers. Nah. We ain't making no money out here and it's showing. So yeah, man. I just wanted to update y'all with what I, the message I received. And um, yeah, followed by that 4,400 week, I brought home another week where I brought home $2,600. I will be posting it up in the description. I netted $2,600. So y'all been doing good, man. I actually just been hustling my ass off, man. Excuse my life. I just been hustling, man. I'm getting to the money on. I ain't really been complaining, man. I, the money was so good. I really ain't stay on home time for three days. Y'all know that ain't like me. I like to take me at least a week before I even think about taking another week. The first week is to get my feet wet to see if I want to take another week. So y'all know the money been pretty good for me to do that. But um, other than that, man, I ain't really got no news for y'all, man. Hey, the way Prime going, man, they, they live to bag out on the camera situation, man. It's so ugly like here. They live, but they said, nah, we ain't going to do the camera. Because we're going to run off some more drivers. Like, Prime is really short, man. They they really short. Like, they short on driver. They big and driver to come to Prime. And I'm telling drivers straight up, like, bro. Don't let them fool you, bro. They're going to get you out here on this road, and they're going to have you sitting. And I'm not finna, you know, sugarcoat it. I work for Prime. No, I haven't left Prime. But I'm not finna sugarcoat and make it seem like everything peaches and cream. When Ashley Adley, man, let me, let me name something nasty. Ashley Adley, man, it's just like, I don't know, Black Eyed Peas kind of good to me now. I can't say Black Eyed Peas. I don't even know. If you name something nasty, it pop up in your head. That what's going on with Prime right now. But yeah, it's ugly out here, man. And it's, man, I mean, I know driving right now at Prime, dog. They, they going, they going a week running. And in the negative, because the, the, the pay rates are so low. So I tell drivers all the time, bro. You don't want to start your week off in North Carolina. That's a place you go to end your week. I know sometimes we're going to be forced to start it. But if you can, try not to start your week off in North Carolina. Like, that's a place, Southeast, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. It is no money over there. That's a place that you go to end the week with a load. You don't go over there to start a week, you gonna, your week going to be doomed before it even starts, dog. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm preaching this to y'all heavily. You got to understand where you at and what the market is for Prime. This is for Prime. It's for Prime, shawty. What did I mean? Shout it. If for prime, I ain't for you. You got to know the rates for prime market. South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee. I'm just going to be real. Ohio. If you anywhere in those neighborhoods at the beginning of the week, it's kind of rough unless you go and get up out of them. So I tell you guys, at the beginning of the week, you're in North Carolina, they mainly they're going to give you a load going to Chicago. That load will probably be paying $900 to $1,000 to go 600 miles. Man, take the load. Don't get on up out of there. Because if you turn down that load and he send you something paying $700 to go down to Georgia from North Carolina, and you're looking at, like, okay, 300 miles, something I'm going to take that. Now you, you're weak, man. So now you're going to go from Georgia either back up to North Carolina, from Georgia up to Tennessee, and nine times out of ten, your weekend is dead. So I'm telling prisoners, y'all, know your area, man. First thing you do, learn the area. Learn where your freight at for your company. Like, people be speaking on the market from their company side. You can only speak on this market from the company you run for. Because Oklahoma got decent freight for Prime, but other places, other companies, they make great money hauling out of Oklahoma. You know, 
So, you know, you got to know the market, man. But yeah, I just want to update y'all, let y'all know what's going on. Oh yeah, man. Let me tell y'all, man, it's about this money on, man. It's what it's about now. So if you ain't able to do this out here on the road, man, don't count my pocket. Don't count my pocket. I'm just saying, don't count mine, man. But yeah, man, this your boy Trucker B, man. Checking in with another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Until next time, y'all keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Deuces.